Hey guys and welcome back again to my channel, The Appalachian Home. So today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on Inkscape. And if you're not familiar with Inkscape, it's a free program. You can go online and download it totally free. So once you have it on your computer, you'll open up the program. And the first thing I'm going to go do is up here at File and Document Properties. You want to make sure your units are selected in inches. Your scale is 1 and you'll want to turn off this page border here. So after you do all that, the first thing I'm going to do is draw a square. And you'll hit Control, click on your canvas, and drag out a square. And then I'm going to resize the square to 2 inches up here at the top where it says W. And then you'll go to Object at the top of your screen you'll hit Align and Distribute and you'll also hit Fill and Stroke and that brings these menus up on the right side of your screen that you'll be using. Now I'm going to click on my square and hit the X under Stroke Paint to turn off my stroke. Make sure that your box is still 2 inches. Next I'm going to go to the circle icon, hit Control, click and drag out a circle. I'll change the color to pink so you can see what I'm doing. And I'll zoom in a little bit. Then I'll go to the top of my screen and I want to change the dimensions of this to four, or I'm sorry, yeah, four inches. And you want to make sure that little lock box up there is, um, is on. Now I'm going to select both by hitting shift and select and I'm going to go under a line and I'm going to line the left edges and the top edges so that both of these are aligned. Then you'll go to path. And then I'm going to click intersection and that gives me this little shape. This is going to be the first shape of the top of my petal. Control and D duplicates this and once you duplicate it you drag it off to the left and I'm going to change the color to pink. Then up here at the top of the screen you're going to flip it over once and flip it over again to until it looks like this. Now you will select both the objects by clicking on shift and selecting the second object. Once you have both of those selected, I'm going to align both of these objects as well by clicking the left align and top align. And then I'll go to path. And again, I'm going to hit intersection. And now I have the shape of the petal that I'm going to use in this tile pattern. So I'm going to go down here to stroke and I'm going to click the second box and I'm going to turn on my stroke. And then I'm going under stroke style and I'm changing the width to 0 0.1 inches. So that gives me a really thick stroke. Then you'll want to go up to the top of your screen where it's 2.1 inches and change that back down to 2 inches. So now you have a 2 inch by 2 inch petal. And once you have that, you'll hit Control and D to duplicate it. Control D again. Control D again. So you'll want to duplicate it three times until you have four petals. On the bottom petal, you'll go to the rotate 90. And the top petal, you'll go to rotate 90. And now it's in the pattern that we're going to work with. So once we have this pattern, I'm going to go over here to Align and Distribute. Make sure this Relative to box is under First Selected and Treat Selection as Group needs to be checked. So once you have that, you're going to select this top left first and you want to do it in the exact order, top left and then top right. Then you're going to go to this box here to align the left and right edges of these two objects. And then you're going to go to top align to align the top. Now I'm going to hit control G and that groups these two objects together. I'm going to do the same thing down here to hit the top, the bottom left, then the bottom right. Go to this box, align left and right, and then align the top edges. And control G groups. Now that you have that, I'm going to select the top image first. Then I'm going to hit shift and select the bottom image. Now once I have both of those selected, I'm going to go here to this bottom box, align top and bottom edges. And I'm going to click that. And then I'll click the left align to align the left sides. And I'm going to right click on these. And I'm just going to go under here and ungroup everything. So right click, ungroup. And on the bottom image, right click and ungroup. So everything's ungrouped. Now I'm going to draw a box around all of my petals completely without missing any parts and then I'll go over here under my stroke style under stroke paint and I'm going to click the X to turn off my stroke 
and now you can see you have your petal design. You can go up to the top where it says path and choose union and that will unify all your objects or weld them together. And if I go over here and draw a four inch square, so just go over here and draw a four inch square and change the dimensions at the top to four inches. I'm going to select both of those objects by sit, shift and select. I'm going to align the center vertical and the center horizontal. Then I'm going to select the pink square, go to object, lower to bottom so you can see these petals, and now you can see the pattern. So draw a box around both of those. Control G groups, Control D duplicates, Control D again, Control D again until you have four of these. Then I'm just going to do the same thing I did with my petals. Hit the top left first, the top right. Then I'm going to go to align left and right edges, align top, and control G to group. Go to the bottom left, then bottom right, align left and right edges, and align top, control G to group. Now that I have all that, I'm going to select the top image, and then I'm going to select the bottom image second. I'm going to go to this button, align top and bottom, and align left edges. And now you have your pattern perfectly aligned. So I'm going to go to right click, ungroup, and I'm going to do this four or five times for all of these to make sure these are completely ungrouped. And if you right click and it, there's an ungroup down here at the bottom, you'll know that you need to ungroup it. When you get to the point you right click and it just says group, you'll know you have everything completely ungrouped. So once you have everything ungrouped, I'm going to click on my pink boxes and delete those. And I'm going to draw a box around this entire shape. And control, and go up here to path and union. And now I have the completed 8x8 eight eight tile pattern. And as you can see up here in the box, it's 7.905 inches. You want to leave it that way. When you go to export this into design space, you will also want to resize this pattern back down to the 7.9 inches that way when it cuts out your stencil you will be perfect your stencil will fit completely on your 8 by 8 inch tile or 8 by 8 inch square whatever you're putting it on okay well that's this video if you have any questions please leave me a comment i'll try to answer them i know it was kind of fast i wanted to not make this a 40 minute video so if you'll follow these steps i promise you'll end up with this pattern so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Mm -hmm.